Hi, welcome to Nasset Sports Rundown. I'm Robbie Wright. And I'm Chris Peach. The traditional rivalry football game between Nasset and DY is coming up soon, and there is a lot of talk leading up to it. In the past, the game has been consistently uneven due to DY having an outstanding program, but this year things have changed. Earlier this season, the Warriors and the Dolphins faced off at DY for their first time, and it didn't go great for the Warriors. The Dolphins took the win 34-14, but the second half was nothing to dwell on for the Warriors. Each team scored 14 points in the second half, making it a super even competition. This sheds light on the Thanksgiving game coming up. In regards to some history, the first football coach at Nasset was Stu Fife when he started coaching in early 1995. During that time, Nasset football beat DY several times in 1998, 1999, 2000, and 2001. Since then, Nasset has had a few Thanksgiving Day wins. The Nasset Warriors look to defeat the Dennis Yarmouth Dolphins on November 22nd on the Nosset home turf. Last year on the Thanksgiving Day matchup, the Dolphins defeated Nosset with a 34-8 victory. Bobby Joy and Mac LeBarge look to finish out the season with a victory against their rivals. This year, D.Y. does not have a win on the road, and the Warriors look to add another loss in that column and f a one final win to their record. D.Y.'s Jeffrey Jamil, Darian Thompson, and Pat Doyle will be key players in this year's matchup. Now on to an interview with one of our own Nosset football players. Hi, I'm Casey Quinn with Mac LaVarge. What will the players need to do in order to win the DY Thanksgiving game? Uh, you know, I think we just need to keep to our assignments, you know, run fast, and hit hard, you know, play 100% every, every snap. What is your tradition on Thanksgiving game mornings in regards to pregame rituals? Uh, usually we just get to the school pretty early, play some music. This year, although, we're going to try to do a team breakfast before. Uh, sort of get everyone together one last time before we go on to take on DUI. What are you hoping to accomplish for your last high school football game? Uh, I'm hoping to get a victory. Uh, we haven't beat DUI since I've been here, so it's a pretty big, uh, it's a pretty big goal that I would like to attain. What are your athletic plans for after high school? Uh, I'm going to go to Union College to play baseball. Okay, thank you, Matt. Back to the studio. Now, here are some traditions from our own Nosset Sports Rundown staff. Our very own Casey Quinn enjoys going to the Nosset DY football game in the morning and then travels to Walpole for his family's Thanksgiving gathering. Declan Hines plays in the Thanksgiving football game and then gathers at his uncle's house for a Thanksgiving dinner. Now, Chris, what are some of your family traditions for Thanksgiving? My family traditions are to go to my uncle's house, eat dinner around 2, finish dinner, then just watch football for the rest of the day. Robbie, what do you like to do? Um, I play in the Thanksgiving Day football game, and then I travel to Pembroke for my grandmother's usual gathering. Sweet. And now to an interview with one of our very own staff members. This is Declan Hines, and we are interviewing Scott about the Thanksgiving Day football game. What do you think of the football rivalry between us and the and I think uh, the rivalry is I think um, this could be an idea that uh, maybe we could beat them. So, but it's always been intense and uh, always attracts a lot of people and, uh, and it's always fun. So uh, I think it's going to be a great game and I hope it's the best. Well, that's all we have for you this week, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Robbie Wright. And I'm Chris Beach. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.